guys, it's your favorite crafter, Shondell, and I am going to show you today how to make a cupcake topper with a custom picture on it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go right on ahead and do so, and we're going to start. As usual, we're using a Cricut Maker, and we design in Design Space. I have a blank page open here, but I'm going to go to this one because it's already linked to my um, Maker already. I was cutting something this morning. So now, I already have the project saved. And this is what we're going to use. So this is the name right here. The name of it is Circle. And this is the name of the cartridge you'll find it in. So just, or you could just type in Circle and you'll be scrolling for quite some time. Also, if you just search in the cartridge and you type in the first few years, you have to go all the way down to the bottom to the T's to find the image that you need. So we're going to go back to the canvas. This is the project I was working on before. And we're going to go to customize. Okay, so this is the shape here. You get two pieces. You could change the color to whatever you want. It doesn't matter because we're cutting, so it's whatever color you put on the mat to cut. You're going to ungroup it. Put the large one to the side, and this one we're going to slice the image that we're using. So go to Upload. You're going to Upload Image, Browse. Then go to wherever you have the image saved on your computer. And I believe I airdropped the image so it'll be to downloads right here. So I chose an image of my niece. How cute is she? All right, go to complex, continue. We're not going to uh, try to erase anything in the background or anything like that. Just go to continue again. And then we're going to save it as a print and cut image. So now we get here. Choose the image you're putting. Insert image. Now you see it opens up as 15 inches for the width and the height. So we're going to change it down to 3. And that's a little better. So now the circle, we're going to move to the front. Don't change the size of the circle ever until we're finished slicing. You can change the size of the image. So put it on top here. If you want the whole thing, you would slice it here. If you want it just like the face area, make it a little larger. Put it over and choose where you want to go. If you want it smaller, and you just get that piece, that's fine. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and get a little of the body. So I want it right here. So you highlight both of them. Right down here on the right side, we're gonna choose slice. So we take this off. And here goes the image we're going to use on the cupcake topper. Close. So now you put it over here. On top of it. Highlight all of it. Group it. And then change the size to the size you want for the cupcake topper. I usually do about 2.5 inches for my cupcake toppers. Also, if you wanted it to be three layers, let me do, let me duplicate. So we'll make two of them so you can see how it is with three layers. Ungroup this one. Arrange to the front. So you're going to make one. A little bit bigger around the size because you want to see the color of the layers properly. 
So we have that too. Arrange this to the front so we can see it on top and make it a little bit smaller. Maybe a little more. Let me center it. And that looks good. Then you could use two colors. If you want to use two glitter colors, maybe I'll do like pink and yellow just for us to see how it looks. Um, again, the color of the back layer or this layer, it doesn't matter because we're cutting. You can just put the color that you want on the mat. I'm going to use glitter paper. So what I'm going to do is take away these because we're not using all of those. Now, always save. Save as because I'm saving it as a new file. I'll just save it as her name, Olivia. Save. And it's going to take its sweet time to save. So in the meantime, um, once your project saves, there we go. Always go here and choose which machine you're using. I'm using the Cricut Maker. And if you're using Explore Air or the Explore Air 2, you choose the Explore Family. Click on Make It. So now it shows you the layers. The first one, this is Print and Cut. You're going to send it to your printer. Then put it on the mat and cut at the machine. This is the second layer for the one that we chose three layers and the two back layers. So like I said, when you put the color on the mat, you don't have to put blue. Put whatever color it is because it's just going to cut this shape out of it. So click on the issue. Go to continue. Click on the first picture. I said issue. Now when you send to printer, with my printer, I use, click on system dialog, and then I click print. Um, instead of going straight to the printer, it's going to bring up a box behind this screen for me to choose the type of paper that I want. So that's with the um, Epson Workforce 7620. I'm not sure if it does that for all printers and how it works. I just know about mine. So I always choose the rear tray because I use the back feeder because I'm printing on 110 pound white cardstock. Uh, you choose what type of paper you're using. I'm using heavyweight paper. And then your quality, always you choose best. And that's from my print. I'm not sure about anyone else's if it's the same um, issue. For the other two pages, I'm using uh, Cricut brand glitter cardstock. And then you print. Also, you choose here. Um, when I'm doing the 110 pound cardstock, I use this one, heavy watercolor paper, 110 pounds. And then when I get to cutting these, I switch it to glitter cardstock. That's the printer starting up in the background. Okay, so we're gonna go to printing out each, um, putting them together and then putting them on the stick. Okay, so we have the picture cutting on the top. And what I do is I will open two Cricuts. As you see the bottom one, I use the iPad. And a lot of people have asked me why I need more than one machine. And this is why it'll cut down the time. So I go to the project we were doing, make it. And while the picture is cutting on the top, I'll just cut these on the bottom. And that way you cut down your cutting time. And um, if you have a business, it's really great because you can get these orders out really fast. Right now I have two makers and one Cricut Explore Ear and one Cricut Explore Ear 2. So choose glitter cardstock. And also the Cricut glitter, the difference with this and uh, I think it's recollection glitter, it doesn't shed. It gives you the same glittery effect, but none of that glitter sheds off. And the pricing is better. You can go to Cricut.com and get a 10-pack. Regular price is about $10. And a lot of the time, they have sales 50% off, sometimes even more. And even the regular price is better than buying one sheet of car glitter cardstock from the craft store. Because they're about $2 each. And obviously, if you buy the 10-pack for $10, you're paying a dollar each. 
So this is done. The bottom is going to cut, and we have the third layer, which I'll just choose on the top. Put it on there, and then everything. The time get cut down. Changing the setting on this one. And don't forget when you switch your paper type, you have to switch the type on the um, in design space. So when you choose the mat, make sure you change the cut. Because sometimes I'm cutting paper, switch the cardstock, forget to switch the setting, and then it doesn't cut all the way through because the cardstock is pretty thick. So it cuts it a little deeper. So here we go. And then cut it right out. Now the top one is almost done and it moves faster than just waiting one at a time with one machine. So all the pieces are cut and also I cut an extra white one because the glitter was too much for me. So this will be the back layer on both. So this how it will look if you just do two layers. If you're doing three layers and you want glitter, I prefer not so much, or maybe it's because I chose red, I don't like it. So when you glue it, you center it as best as you can. So this is what it would look like. And for the white layer, which I like so much better, and then the image in the middle. How cute is that? I really prefer this one. So now you just glue them together. I always use my Ryobi glue gun. I just reuse some paper that I made a mistake on, flip it over because you won't be seeing the back. So that's a way also to save paper if you ever mess up on a print and cut project. And now we will try our best to get that in the middle. There you go. Now the same process. If you don't think you can move that fast to get it in the middle, then don't use a glue gun. But when it comes to gluing items on glitter paper, I much prefer the glue gun. I feel like when I first started crafting, I didn't know much about different glue medium so I just learned to use the glue gun on everything now I have a few favorites but I still like using the glue gun so there we go this is what it looks like with three layers and this is what it looked like with two layers so then you get your I believe it's called a lollipop stick candy stick I buy these from Michaels as well Put the glue at the top. Hold it up and then put and there you have it. If you're doing like a dozen and you want to make sure they all are glued in the same spot, this is what you do. You line it up next to each other like that put your finger right where it stops right there so you know that's where your glue is going glue it here make sure your finger stays right there take your image and put it and that way all of them are the same size see that let me get a cupcake to show you how it looks on a hot little cupcake. How cute is that? Let me move it closer. Let me move back a little. See? Gorgeous. Oh, don't mind my cupcake. And you can do this with any image, someone's logo. 
it is just the cutest thing that you've ever seen. And there you go, custom cupcake toppers.